Well, this is Ukraine's largest offensive on Russian soil since the war began. Ukrainian units launched the operation on Tuesday morning, and by Wednesday they had advanced as much as 10 kilometres or six miles into Russia. The Institute for the Study of War has geolocated footage of Ukrainian forces in these locations and verified images showing prisoners of war being taken at border checkpoints. On Friday, video emerged appearing to show Ukrainian soldiers in control of a Gazprom facility in the town of Suja. Six days in, this map shows that Ukrainian forces are largely holding their position, while Russia has evacuated 76,000 of its citizens. Reports in Ukraine suggest its forces have now entered the region of Belgorod. Sky News has not been able to independently verify a video showing troops in the village of Poroz. Our defence and security editor, Deborah Haynes, reports. Russia says the damage was caused by debris from a Ukrainian missile shot out the sky by Russian air defences. Such destruction, a daily occurrence in Ukraine because of Moscow's munitions. Not so familiar, though, for these people in Russia's Kursk region. <laughs> Residents overnight spoke about what happened. About three or four cars were burning. People, children were crying, running out of the house. The Kremlin says more than 75,000 people have been evacuated from the border area since Ukrainian troops started invading the territory six days ago. Russian state television broadcast images from a camp set up in Kursk city. One evacuee offered a sense of the confusion. We closed the gate and rushed through the gardens. No one knew where. We ran out. Where should we go? What should we do? Went along the streets and there was a boom. What should we do? Footage from Russia's defence ministry showed its troops trying to repel the assault. But Moscow is not calling the shots. Ukrainian commanders have said nothing publicly about their plans. However, images widely circulated on social media, though not confirmed by Sky News, purport to show Ukrainian troops gaining ground. It's not known when this was filmed. Snippets of unofficial video offer the only clues to what's happening. One analyst says Ukraine is using a form of unconventional warfare to strengthen its hand ahead of the US election in November. It's impossible for Ukraine to be only in strategic defence because uh, uh, without asymmetric actions, uh, not non-standard action, let's say, uh, it will be very difficult, very tough after American elections in 2025 for Ukraine uh, to keep, uh, let's say, positions, especially if uh, new uh, United States president will call for negotiations. On the outskirts of Kyiv, fresh horror from Russia's war. In the rubble, a little boy and his father killed by debris from a downed Russian missile. A reminder of why Ukraine is fighting back. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.